Hola people, I welcome you all to my channel Life Science Tastic. As promised, in today's video, we'll be talking about BSc, everything about BSc. And those who are new to my channel, I welcome you all and also request to watch my introduction video so that you'll get an idea about this channel. And now, before wasting any further time, let's begin with our today's video. In this video, I'll give you a quick introduction to the topic BSc, that is Bachelor's of Science. It has two major types, BSc General or BSc Plus and the second type is BSc Honours that actually focuses on one core subject. So you can select BSc Honours after 12th if you want to do BSc in any life science subject. I would also like to mention that BSc Life Science is a three-year undergraduate course involving the study of various life processes in plants, animals and organisms. Now, the first thing that comes to our mind is who all are eligible for opting BSc? Then, the criteria is you should have a 10 plus 2 level degree that is 12th pass in science is very very necessary with biology. I mean PCMB or PCB. Okay, the second point that comes to our mind is what is the fees? So the fees range is from 10,000 to 1.5 plus lakhs per year. Now I guess let's discuss some of the subjects involved in BSc Honours and in Life Sciences. So here's a list for you all. The major subjects included in BSc Honours and the Life Science subjects are 1. Life Science 2. Biotechnology 3. Bioinformatics 4. Microbiology 5. Plant Biology 6. Biochemistry 7. Food Science and Technology 8. Agricultural Science 9. Molecular Biology 10. Botany 11. Zoology 12. Genetics and Hereditary 13. Virology 14. Forestry 15. Behavioral Science 16. Biophysics 17. Ecology, Evolution and Environment 18. Mycology 19. Parasitology and 20. Are the paramedical courses available? There are a lot of options, I guess. <laughs> And I feel you have another question now and that's what exactly is the duration of the course? <laughs> so there's a three-year BSc course available in maximum colleges and universities of India. Plus there's a four-year BSc paramedical courses available in some different like some private colleges in India. And lastly, there is an integrated course or a dual degree course available in some government colleges. So that is uh, of uh, exactly of five years. So that includes three years of your BSc and two years of your MSc. So after this course, you'll be directly getting a Masters of Science degree. Itne sare options hai confusion to hoga hi. If you ask me what subject to choose, then I would clearly say, please don't narrow down your subject range in bachelors itself. I mean, if you select molecular biology, genetics or virology kind of subjects in your BSc itself, then these subjects won't allow you to explore much in science as they are just a small part of science subject. So definitely it is better to select biotechnology, life sciences, ecology, evolution and environmental sciences kind of subjects because this will allow you to understand a wider range of subjects and then in those three years you can actually decide which subject you really like so that you can opt that particular subject in your masters that's just my suggestion for you all but if you guys are already focused and you know what you want to do then go ahead with it <laughs> I feel this is the correct time to share detailed information about each subject I mentioned. So your information I have made a chart for you all for better understanding of the subjects. So the first subject 
that we'll be talking about is BSc in Life Science. If I introduce you all to this subject or course, then it's all about studying the life of each and every living organism. The eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 level, that is 12th science. Duration is 3 years. The dual degree course or the integrated course is available in some universities with entrance exams. The syllabus of this course includes subjects like Cell Biology, Biotechnology, Plant Tissue Culture, Animal Tissue Culture, Mathematics, Biostatistics, Biophysics, Molecular Biology, etc. No much focus is given on practical knowledge. The admission process is direct, merit-based or entrance exam based. The entrance exams include GSAT. This exam is for GIT AM University and ICAR AIEEA exam that is for Indian Agricultural Research Institute, National Dairy Research Institute, Indian Veterinary Research Institute, Central Institute of Fisheries Education. If you all want admission in these in universities or institutes, then you have to qualify the entrance exams and then you'll get the admission. The future scope, if I talk about the future scope in this, after this course, uh, after doing a BSc or a MSc degree in this, then you might get good jobs in and as research field, food scientist, uh, then um, pathologist, biochemist, etc. The salary ranges from 2 to 4 lakhs per annum approximately. The second subject or course we'll focus on is BSc in Biotechnology. If I introduce you all to this course, then this course brings together biology and technology, introducing to candidates its various applications in various sectors. The eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 level, that is 12th science. The duration is approximately 3 years. The dual degree course or the integrated course is available in some universities with entrance exams. The syllabus of this course includes subjects like Microbiology, Biostatistics, Mathematics, Plant Tissue Culture, Animal Tissue Culture, Biodiversity, Molecular Biology, Immunology, Recombinant DNA Technology, etc. Practicals are equally important in this course. The admission criteria is or the admission process is um, direct that is merit based or entrance exams based. So exa entrance exams includes AIMS Biotechnology Entrance Exam, IIT Chennai JAM Biotechno Biotechnology Entrance Exam, etc. If I talk about the future scope, if you do a BSc or MSc in this course, then you have or you might get good jobs in and as lab technician, research associate, lab instructor, sales coordinator, lecturer in any college, etc. The salary range is from 2 to 5 lakhs per annum approximately. Let's move on to the next subject or course that is BSc in Bioinformatics. If I introduce you all to this subject, then it's a bachelor's course which specializes in the science of collecting and analyzing complex biological data such as genetic codes. Eligibility criteria for this course is 10 plus 2 level, that is 12th science. The duration of this course is 3 years. Dual degree course or the integrated course is not available as I've searched a lot, but I did not get any, any information about it. The syllabus, if I talk about the syllabus of this course, then it includes subjects like biostatistics, probability, biodiversity, molecular biology, immunology, sequence analysis, and phylogenetics, etc. Practicals are also equally important in this course. The admission process is direct, merit-based, or entrance exam-based. The entrance exams include DUET, JNUEE, BHU, PET, etc. If I talk about the future scope, then I guess this is the most booming industry right now. So after doing or after getting a BSc or MSc degree in this, you might get good jobs in and as bioinformatics, prog uh, bioinformatics programmer and analyst, research associate, 
application support specialist etc the salary range is from 5 to 10 lakhs per annum approximately the fourth subject of course will focus on today is bsc microbiology in this course students study major topics include basic microscopy and principles of immunology principles of transmission genetics recombinant dna technology computational biology and bioinformatics the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 level that is 12 science and the duration is 3 years the dual degree course is available in some universities with entrance exams syllabus uh, that includes uh, syllabus of this course includes subjects like principles of microbiology cell structure and dynamics microbial genetics microbial biotechnology food and agricultural microbiology etc practicals are equally important in this course the admission process includes direct admission merit based or entrance exam based the entrance exams are cet jee means bit sat etc the future scope in this field is also very very good so after getting a bsc or msc degree in microbiology you might get good jobs in and as bacteriologist cell biologist ecologist farming consultant biologist taxonomist scientist etc the salary ranges from 2 to 5 lakhs per annum approximately actually as mentioned before i cannot cover all of the subjects in a single video i chose these four subjects because of wider range options plus and uh, also because uh, of the high demand so i request you all if you want such present uh, presentable or table like presentation uh, for other subjects also do dm me or comment down below so that i can share that with you, with you all in my next video other than these common courses there is bsc in paramedical subjects also let's check with that now the paramedical subjects includes bsc in perfusion technology bsc medical dialysis technology bsc cardiac care technology bsc medical laboratory technology bsc medical radiology bsc operation theater and anesthesia technology and bsc optometry all these courses are of 4 years duration and offer you bsc degree in respective field let's move on to the colleges offering these courses colleges offering these paramedical courses are mgm school of biomedical sciences navi mumbai dr d y patel university navi mumbai CMJ University, Meghalaya, Royal Global University, Guwahati, Assam, Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. There are some other universities as well. You might search them. And if you want further information like what is the admission process, you can visit the university website. Actually, I have managed a brochure of MGM School of Biomedical Sciences. So here it is, I'm sharing with you all. Now I think you guys are very much clear about what course to choose. <laughs> I hope this video was quite informative for all students out there and hope you liked it. So please, please share this video with all the students as 12th results are out and this video might help them to choose a good career option. All the very best guys. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Doodles.